Hi everybody, let's talk a little bit more about alkanes. I want to give you some physical properties that are very specific to alkanes. Let's begin, little reminder. So alkanes only contain carbon-carbon and carbon-hydrogen bonds, which means they are very, very nonpolar. Uh, because they're nonpolar, they only have the weak intermolecular force, which is going to be London dispersion forces. Remember, those are temporary and they're instantaneous, the weakest of all of our intermolecular forces. Uh, because of that, our alkanes have very low melting points and low boiling points. Now, a little reminder, London dispersion forces, as you increase the molecular weight of a molecule, which means you're also increasing the surface area, obviously increasing the number of carbons, you also increase that London dispersion force. So there's a big takeaway with, from this. As you increase boiling point, melting point, that means that you increase the molecular weight. Let me give you an example here. So we've got butane with four carbons, pentane with five, hexane has six carbons. And look at the boiling points. We go from a negative 0.5 degrees C for four carbons, butane, 36 degrees C. All right, significant jump there for pentane, five hydrocarbons, and then, or excuse me, five carbons, and then six carbons. The boiling point for hexane is 69, or 69 degrees C because you have an increase, I'm going to put an increase right here in your IMF. You have stronger London dispersion forces, LDF right there. I will include some cards for you to review uh, London dispersion forces, okay? Uh, nice. Continuing on, so we have very nonpolar molecules, which means alkanes are insoluble in water. They will be soluble, of course, in a organic solvents like benzene, uh, but they're going to be insoluble in water. That's why if we have our gasoline or oil spill in water, say in the ocean, uh, it's really dangerous because it won't dissolve. It just sits there and floats and it can be damaging to the environment. We have to be really careful that we don't introduce gasoline oils, those alkanes, into the water because it won't dissolve. Uh, another uh, interesting attribute of alkanes is that they undergo combustion. There are not a lot of chemical reactions for our alkanes. They undergo combustion, um, which is also, remember, a type of redox reaction. I'll also include a card for combustion and redox reactions for you. So here's an example of combustion of methane, which would be considered natural gas. You have met methane plus oxygen yields CO2 and water. Now something to remember on this, in combustion of alkanes, combustion means the hydrocarbon plus oxygen, it always yields, it always produces CO2 and H2O. Uh, it's the CO2 combustion of these hydrocarbons that people can be concerned about greenhouse gases. Uh, this model you want to have memorized. Hydrocarbon plus oxygen always yields that CO2 in the water. Another little side note, it's exothermic. It releases energy. It releases a lot of energy, in fact, and that's why we use our fossil fuels for our energy. Electricity, running our cars, wow, almost everything we do, uh, we use our, our natural gas. Natural gas and um, other, other hydrocarbons that are alkanes. Okay, nice. So physical properties of alkanes. Have a nice day. Thanks for being here.